Well, hello everybody out there and welcome to another random video. So this is kind of like a follow-up to my other video where I did a comparison between the Rockwell 6S and the Parker 55 SL semi slant. And, you know, I already mentioned that this razor feels more aggressive than the Rockwell with the number 6 plate, especially when shaving against the grain. But at the end of the video, I also said that I prefer the Parker when I shave my head because I said that it's it feels as if it's better or easier to find the right angle due to the way how the, uh, the comb is shaped or how uh, due to the shape of the comb. Um, but yeah, that kind of changed in the meantime because oddly enough, after I did this video, I shaved my head with the Parker and it was one of the most terrible, most bloodiest head shaves that I ever had. And I had the same problem already with my face that sometimes the result, the shave was okay, it was pretty nice, but other times it was just a bloody mess. And I thought, how is it possible that one and the same razor with one and the same blade is giving me such different results. And then I took um, a closer look at this razor and I think I might have found the answer to this question. So uh, let's see if the camera would focus. I mean, it does focus, but yeah, it, it looks kind of very dark. So maybe I'm going to uh, make a picture, but you can already see it right here that the blade gap is getting bigger and bigger from this side to this side. You see that? I mean, this is ridiculous. And I mean, it's not so bad on this side. I mean, I'm going to take pictures of both sides so that you compare them. But yeah, I think that this is the problem. So it looks as if this part of the razor, the cap, isn't really pushing the blade down enough. So that's why the blade gap is much bigger right here than it should be. I mean, look at this, this is ridiculous. And I think this is also what I cut myself with. So yeah, this is like the typical problem that we always had with um, Parker, poor quality control. I already made a video about um, the Parker variant and why I had to return it. So um, yeah, now this razor also suffers from poor quality control. And yeah, unfortunately, I realized this a little bit too late, so now I can't return it anymore, so I don't know what to do with this razor right now. But yeah, this is just something that I wanted to mention, that yeah, this razor isn't really perfect, at least not the one that I got. And yeah, I think from now on I will stay away from Parker razors, and yeah, so that's it. I hope you found this video informative. And if you like it, leave a thumbs up. And I see you in the next random video. Bye.